Everybody, welcome back to I Love My STEM Career, which is a two-day event taking place over yesterday and today. Today we're at the Ormo Baths and we're here for the Northern Ireland Science Festival, highlighting super cool STEM careers. Uh, and next up, we've got our next speaker. We've got Naomi McGregor, who is founder and CEO at Move True, um, and she's also a fellow of the Royal Academy of uh, Engineering, amongst a few other things. So how are you? I am good, thank you. Good. I am really looking forward to uh, talking to you today. So I know obviously you've got a, a kind of wealth of, of engineering knowledge and experience so far um, in your career and you've done loads of amazing things. So yeah. I'm just wondering, did that passion start kind of from school? Did you know you were going to be an engineer? I absolutely did not. I didn't even <laughs> consider it. I was in for economics mm -hmm. for my university degree. So I really, it was a last minute decision, yeah. the day of A-level results, that I changed to engineering. Um, what did you say? <laughs> did you just, did you just take a notion? Yeah, I just, I woke up and I was like, eh, got in, okay, now what? And I really realised I wasn't excited. Yeah, so yeah. it was that moment that I, I, I really loved maths and I loved technology in high school. And coming from an all girls school, like you didn't really ever hear about engineering, you weren't sure yes. what it meant. And whenever I then decided this isn't exciting to me, I want to do something where I feel creative, mm -hmm. I just went in and changed and I was luckily accepted within two days to change my degree wow, okay. and decided, well, give it a go. Worst case scenario, I change. Uh, but the decider for me was I was told I could go from engineering to business, but it's harder to go from business to engineering. Yes. Yeah. And I knew I loved business because of my parents, they have their own, so I seen that, I seen the creative side mm -hmm. and I decided, okay, let's, let's give engineering a try and see what happens and I was lucky enough <laughs> for it to work out the right way. <laughs> did you have, um, like, w like, was it totally random or did you have any inspiration in engineering? Like, did you know anyone was an engineer? Had you, had you heard it was a really cool career or did you just, like, think, you know, just get this vision? You know, actually, I'm gonna. What'll I choose? Right, engineering. How how did that come? Because it seems so random. You it know? was a, bit, a wee bit of a open the book. And yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that, that one sounds kind of cool. Product yeah. design engineering. Yeah. Well, who knows? Uh, I think it was partly to do with I. I grew up and I. My granda was a builder, and I got to see that side. Then my mum owned a bike shop, so it was also in a meal yeah. industry. So I saw all these things, and I didn't see it as an issue that I could go into engineering. So I saw yes. it was still always an option, yeah. uh, but I didn't really know what it was. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a bit of a, I opened the book. It sounded like a cool subject. Yes. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Which is um, kind, of, kind of like a happy accident. That's yeah. exactly how I chose my undergraduate degree. Opened a book, saw the word speech and language therapy, thought English is my favorite subject. Language, you know, did not understand that that is not at all what it was. <laughs> but I think lots of people do that and sometimes it just works out great. You know, yeah. it's, it's maybe fit or whatever. So product design, how exciting is that as a, as a career for you? I love it as a career because I really didn't realize the opportunities that mm -hmm. engineering had and then with product design, you can really go into very like any area and even areas that I didn't know existed, uh, I can go into them. Yeah. And for example, from my degree, a lot of people, some people is in biotech uh, and then there's also some medicine, yep. like some doing uh, like catwalks and the lighting in a that catwalk. That's so cool. Like, it's so cool yeah. to think that you could completely end up in the fashion industry yeah. as well as on, like within sustainable energy. Yeah. So the variety within the degree is incredible. And having product design, it means that you get to be really creative. Yes. And that's what I love doing and just getting to explore different opportunities. And it can, like you're saying, it can be anything. Mm -hmm. Do you know, like I never would have thought like, um, I love anything kind of fashion related, fashion shows, mm -hmm. all that kind of thing. Like to think, oh my God, you could be actually contributing creatively to this kind of artistic masterpiece. That is yeah. so cool. Cause you think, you know, it's not that related to art, but things can be like, you can design anything, you yeah. know, it's super, super cool. Um, would you encourage people at school to, to kind of consider doing product design? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I've went back to so many events at Queens to say, I, I love my degree. I yeah. really did. 
and the opportunities that I've even had. I worked in a dairy factory, so <laughs> it was in the process line. Yeah. Um, ironic, because I'm lactose intolerant. And <laughs> I have worked in autonomous vehicles, oh, and now cool. I'm in my startup, which is textiles, so clothing yeah. and electronics and app development. So yeah. this degree has not closed any doors, it's just opened a whole wealth of opportunity. Which which is amazing. Obviously you've mentioned your startup, you know, you've you've your own business thing, so it's moved through. So yeah. tell us a wee bit about your startup because this, this sounds very, very cool. So my startup was actually inspired by my background, which was in yeah. ballet. Oh um, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, so I started doing ballet at three, teaching at thirteen, and at fourteen I injured myself. Okay. And it took three years to actually diagnose the issue. So then for my master's in product design engineering, mm -hmm. I was able to put forward my own idea and I said, there has to be a better way to recover from injury. Mm -hmm. And I did it for a dissertation and in July, 2020, I was meant to leave the university and go into my really nice grad job. And yeah. that was the route. And I decided that I couldn't walk away from the project, that I really believed that MoveTrue had the opportunity to help people recover from rehabilitation. Uh, so what MoveTrue is, is wearable clothing with sensors that send information to your smartphone. Wow. And it allows you to actually reduce rehabilitation time because you can have a physiotherapist anywhere in the world and they'll be able to advise you on how to correct your movement. That is so cool. That is very, very, and that's so applicable for, for so many people, obviously dancers, yeah. sports people, peop, anyone, I'm sure that could have further applications. Yeah. Stroke and things as well, you know, is, you're, you're kind of designing the future with that, of kind of rehab and... Yeah, I think we have to design the future in a sustainable way. Yeah, yeah. And it's not sustainable to go to a doctor's appointment and travel for two to three hours for yes. a specialist and have a 10 minute meeting. Yeah, it's yeah. not a long term solution. So we need to actually think how, how can we do things from home, have health from home yes. and actually improve the recovery of that yeah. as well. Oh, that's incredible. That's such an incredible idea. It's so creative as well. You know, it's amazing. Um, and what about your, your um, career to date? Do you feel that your education or your kind of life experience has helped you more? I do think it's a big 50-50 in engineering. Yeah and whether your education comes through being on site through an apprenticeship or through a degree, engineering does require so much knowledge mm -hmm. that you need that back end um, to make your day to day a lot more easier and enjoyable because yeah. then you can maximize your potential. Although my placements and work experience that I've had has allowed me to improve things like communication yes, and yeah. through my degree, I got to go to different countries like uh, China and Denmark and that got me into understanding different cultures and yes. how do they come to a problem. So between education and work experience, I think they're both really complementary in engineering, mm -hmm. although it's no one size fits all. Again, there's, I don't think anybody knows how many options there are in engineering as yep. a career. Yep. So there's no one size fits all. It really is. You can do whatever you want and there'll be a way. And that's that's so true. It's not one size. I mean, my my brother's an engineer, and I didn't have any clue. You know, from yesterday, people were engineers, but they were totally different from you as well. So yeah. I've just thought, my God, you can actually do anything. It's yeah. incredible. Um, so we are we're just going to wrap up. But I just want to know quickly. Today is I love my STEM career. Mm -hmm. What is your one favorite thing about your career? Oh, my! I think my favorite thing is the fact that I can be creative, and I can I can. Be, I can add in different colors and designs mm -hmm. and think of how somebody's going to use it, but then also be really technical and get to do maths and yeah. be really specific. So I like the variety because no two days have ever looked the same yeah. in any work experience or my business. Yeah. So I love the variety. Which is incredible. And that is what every person so far has mentioned, <laughs> the variety. So you're not going to be bored if you have a career in STEM. So can we please get a big round of applause, please, for Naomi McGregor. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was great. Thank you.